This virtual building can have layer combinations, for example, the furniture plan, which include the room data, furnishing, and the occupants of the space. And the beauty of RKFM is that all this information is provided automatically in 3D, supporting the user with a new level of management capability. On a different layer combination, we can group the ceiling and its components like fan coils, cables, and security items. Whatever building information you need to document or manage, ArcFM provides unparalleled visual documentation capabilities. Different colors are used to define different room types. The green we see here indicates office area, and the red indicates lobby and corridor. This color coding extends to all stories. Let's make a report of the room categories and set our filtering options. On the bar chart, we can see the proportional division of the rooms in the central building. This can be saved in a number of file formats and edited in a separate application. And now let's look at the information we get automatically from the graphics portion of ArcGFM. When we select a room in the graphics window, and then we switch to the database, we are able to see its attributes. These attributes were automatically downloaded during the graphical conversion. We didn't have to type a single word. On the tabs page on the left-hand side, we see the selected room, and on the right-hand side, we find the detailed information, including the main parameters, attributes, and so on. On the first tab page, we find the basic information like the name, the room number, location, in the type of the room. The Attributes tab page includes information about the room area, the wall surface, which is particularly useful for calculations for room finish schedules, the surface openings, also useful for cleaning calculations, and the volume of the room, which will serve as the basic data in the calculation of the heating costs. This type of data conversion saves time and eliminates data entry errors. If we want to track data that is not included in the default attributes, we can create custom data fields on the Extended Attributes tab page. Let's have a look at some examples. The first entry is text type attribute that can keep track of the color of the wall, and in this case, the value is white. Other attributes can be in the form of attached documents and even pictures. These can be opened directly from RKFM using the program's default applications. Attributes can also be a web or email address, and these can also be arrived from RKFM. These custom attributes can be the result of a SQL query. This example counts the items in the selected room. The connection between graphics and the database is also live in the case of objects. Let's take a look at an example. The symbol we see here represents a person. This person also appears in the database. Let's modify the name of that person in the database. After doing that, if we go back to the graphics window, we can see that the name has changed. ArcGFM's ability to dynamically update all room-related data assures the user the most current information at all times. And now, let's create a report from the query editor. For example, if we would like to see all of the vacant rooms, to do this, we select the predefined query from the query editor and view the result. This list of the vacant rooms can be printed or saved as text. We can also run this query graphically. By selecting a color using the show in graphics command, we can return to the floor plan where the rooms we are looking for will be highlighted. Let's look at another example where we want to see those rooms in which we can locate a new employee. By using the same process, we can get the result in both a textual and graphical format.